All right, so we're continuing our um, our talk on logic. So logic, and in this section, we're going to go over what truth tables are, uh, and we're going to look at truth tables for negations, for conjunctions, and disjunctions. So remember, negations look like this: the little squiggly line. Conjunction means and, and then disjunction means or. So this is not, this is and, this is or. Oh, oh gosh, it's not working. Oh, right, there we go. Is a device used to determine when a compound statement is true or false? So if you have a compound statement and you want to determine whether the compound statement itself is true or false, you have to create a truth table. All right, so here is the first example. It says, let P be given as test is today. All right, so case one, um, there is, let's see. Um, so you would just basically fill out the truth table this way. P can either be um, true, which means that the negation of true would be false, or P can be false, which means the negation of false is true. It's the opposite. So those are the only two cases. P can either be true or false, which means that uh, the negation of P would have to be false true. All right, so it says here, if P is a true statement, then the negation of P is false. If P is a false statement, then the negation of P is true. All right, so it's just the opposite. Um, let's see what they say next. If a compound statement consists of two simple statements, P and Q, then there are four possible true false arguments. Uh, whenever we construct a true table for a compound statement that consists of two simple statements, we begin by listing the four true false cases. So there's always gonna be four true false cases whenever you have two statements. So these are the cases. You can either have true, true, you can have true, false, you can have false, true, or you can have false, false. Those are the only four combinations that you can come up with. <clears throat> so that's what they mean when they say um, four true, false cases. So this will always be the same. Then you can apply that to any given statements. So for example, if P is test is today and Q is the test covers chapter four, we can look at conjunction of those two statements. <clears throat> we can look at disjunction of those two statements to determine whether that those two statements are true or false. So let's see, uh, let's go to example two. Um, actually, let's just create another, another, um, well, no, that's okay. We're gonna get to that in the next example. All right, here we go. Let P be the, car the carpet is delivered on Thursday, and Q be the statement, the function is delivered on Friday. The furniture is delivered on Friday. Sales per uh, person's promise. The carpet is delivered on Thursday, and the furniture is delivered on Friday. So that's the promise. Uh, keyword is and, which is a conjunction. All right, so what is this? Uh, is this P or Q right here? P. P. All right, so that would be P. Uh, I'll write the conjunction on the bottom. And then this is? Q. 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 All right, so we want to see if that's true or false. Uh, so P and Q. All right, so let's list out the four cases. Remember, there's four cases. The four cases are true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. <clears throat> All right, so if you have a tr T and T, what the and means, it means that in order for that to be true, that means they both have to be true because the word and means that this one has to be true and this one has to be true. So for this, T and T is true because um, they're both true. So that is T. 
for the next one, you have T and F. So true and false. What do you guys think? Is that going to be false overall or true overall? In order it's going to be false overall because both of the statements are true. Um, yeah, both of the statements have to be true in order for the conjunction to be true. You're right. So overall, true and false means false because one of them is false where they both have to be true. Okay. All right. This one would be false and false. true. That's also false, right? Because they're, um, they both have to be true. And then the last one is false and false. So that is also false because they're both false. They both have to be true in order for the conjunction to be true. So that's pretty much it for this one. So the only, the this statement, because it's P and P, P and Q, um, that would be, okay, so yeah, that would be true because this is P, that's true and that's true. It didn't say not. Oh, I'm sorry, no. Um, if this is true and this is true, then the entire statement is true. So if, if this is true and if this is true, then this will be true. But if this is true and this is false, then this is false, right? Right. And, vice, and same thing, if this is false and this is true, then this is also false. And lastly, if this is false, false, then this is false. All right. Okay. So, um, so the important thing to note here is that um, that P and Q is true only when P is true and Q is true. Yeah, that's what I would write in that little box. That's the important takeaway. All right, so let's look at this next example. It says, construct a truth table for Jose is an artist and Jose is not a musician. So we have to define P and Q. So let's say P, what do you guys think P should be? Jose is an artist. Yeah, Jose is an artist. And what do you think Q should be? Um, Jose is not musician but it's gonna be squiggly line q right because it says not yeah so i would say let's make q jose is a musician and then we can we can make it not by making the squiggly line in front of it yeah so that's let's do that musician is that a, right. the first one that's a p okay look like you wrote a q oh yeah you're right that is a q <laughs> thanks i meant to write a p thanks all right, so this is an and. So I'm just gonna highlight the keywords, keyword, keyword. All right, so now we can write this as, so I think you said it, Tori, right? It's P, P and. Squiggly line Q. Line Q. Squiggly line Q because of the not, right? All right, so that's what we're looking for. We're gonna see if, when is this true? All right, let me make that nicer looking Q. Uh, that's not that nice. All right, so here are the four cases. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. All right, so for the first one, you're gonna have P, which is true, and not Q. What would not Q be, true or false? False. That'd be fine. Wouldn't that be true because it's a true statement that he is an artist, but he's not a musician? He's not a musician. Oh. It doesn't make it false. That makes it a, it's still true, right? Uh, we're just looking at this. We're just looking. Yeah, you kind of want to ignore all this for now. You just oh, kind of okay. you're just kind of focused on this right here. So, okay. Well, then it's false. Yeah, it's going to be false because Q is if Q is true, then not Q would be false. So we have in this case we have true and false which is what do you think that is makes it false that's gonna false. make it 
false. Yeah, that's gonna be false because remember, in order for it to be true, they that's both have to be true. They both have to be true. All right, over here you're gonna have P and not Q. What would not Q be in this case? False. <laughs> well, it's already <laughs> false, but if you negate it, it's gonna be true. Yeah, you take the up whenever you see a squiggly line, you, you do the opposite of what it is. So it's going to be true and true. So in this case, it's true, right? Because true and true make it true. So whenever you have a squiggly line, you negate it and it turns it to the opposite. Yeah, exactly right. You just mm -hmm. make it opposite. So for the next case, you're going to have false. And what's not Q in this one? False. False, yeah, false and false, which is false, right? And then for the last one, you have P and not Q. True. That'd be true. That'd be true. And what is that overall? That would be false. That would be false. All right. <clears throat> so the only time this statement would actually be, the only time this statement would be true is when true. When or P is true and Q is false. So the only time it would be true is if Jose is an artist and Jose is not a musician because it says false here. So you'd have to negate it. Uh, yeah. So this is the only time it would be true. Okay. So it would be for when P is true and Q is false. Um, so Jose has to be an artist, but Jose is not a musician. That's when this statement would be true. <clears throat> so even if it doesn't really make sense in English, logically, in the world of logic, this is a true statement. So it's a little strange, but that's the way it works. Um, let's look at this it's one. True. That'd be a true statement. Uh, oh. Yeah, actually, this is a true statement right here. Even all oh, because you negated. OK, OK, I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah, because the first, um, the only time it's true is when P is true and Q is false. And this is, so if Jose, if Jose is an artist, mm -hmm. Jose is not a musician, mm -hmm. then, the, then the statement is true. True. Yeah. All right, let's look at this one. Construct a true table for Jose is not an artist and Jose is not a musician. So what would the symbols be for this one? Um, Quiggly line Q uh, with the arrowhead uh, squiggly line P. Well, squiggly line P, squiggly line Q. Oh, is it artist or musician goes first? Artist or musician? Um, artist. Artist. Artist and musician. And oh, P, Q. Line P. Not. Squiggly Q. Yeah, so it'd be not P and not q right so not p not q okay so same thing you just do true 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 false false true false false and then you do the same thing so if you make negate p what do you get here false false and if you negate q false False. false and false is false, right? Mm -hmm. so that's a false. All right. And then if you negate P here and negate Q, you get? You're going to get true, false, but it's going to you get it, false, true, but it's still going to equal out to being false. Yeah, you'll get false, true, and that is still false. And then if you do the next one, you're going to get negate, negate. True, false. True, false, which is still false, right? False. And then the last one is going to be negate, negate. True, true. That one will be true, right? All right. So the only time that this statement would be true is when this is false and this is false. So when Jose is not an artist and Jose is not a musician, that's when this statement is true. All right. Let's look at this one. 
Um, so you got two statements again. A requirement for a job is a two-year college degree, and a requirement for a job is five years of related experience. Job requirement is a two-year <clears throat> college degree or five years of related experience. So what would you write for the symbols for this one? That would be P uh, with the V and then a Q. Yeah, Q. So P or Q. So this is all right. So let's go out the truth table. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. All right. So for the first one, it's going to be true or true. So for the or, the word or means only one of them has to be true in order for the overall statement to be true. So in this case, true or true would be true. True. You only need one true. You don't need two of them, but if you have two, that's fine too. All right, the next one would be true or false. What do you guys think? Is that going to be true or false overall? False. Uh, if it would have been an and, that means they both have to be true. But if it's an or, only one of them has to be true for the whole statement to be true. So that one's true. It's going to be true because at least one of them is true. That's what the word or means. This one or that one has to be true in order for the statement to be true. Okay. So same thing with the next one. False or true would be true. 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 And then the last one, false or false. It's false. That one is false because none of them are true. So therefore, it's false. So the important thing to note is um, P or Q is um, uh, true, is always true except for, is, is true when at least, when you have at least one true, when you have, when, when you have at least one true. So yeah, all you need is one. So one there, one there, and this one, they're both false. All right, so now we should be able to do this next problem. All right, so we wanna know when is this true? So it would be true, for, so you always fill out the true table the same way. Over here, the cases are true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Then you have to go through all these and you have to negate and then you have to determine whether the overall statement is true or false. So let's do this one. What would the not P be in this case for the first case? Um, well, you have to negate it, right? Be false. Yeah. Yes, it would be false or Q would be. That one? True. Don't, don't negate that one. So overall, would this be a true or a false statement overall? True. It would be true because it's an or, and for or you only need one true. So this would be true. All right. The next one is going to be, so negate the first one, but keep the second one the same. So false or false? False. False. Yes. False. False. The next one, we're only negating the first one. So that would be true or true. Um, true. True or true, true. it's true, right? Um, and then the last one is, if you negate the first one, you get true, true. or false is true, true because you have, you have at least one true. All right, and then this part's kind of easy because it's the same thing. The only thing that you're doing is what are you doing? to this, you're negating it. See how it's, this one is the same as that? The only difference is that they have the negation in the front. So basically you just change these to the opposites. Oh. So 
negate that, you get false. False. If you get negate false, you get true. Okay. The next ones are false, oh. false. So it just changes to be the opposite because of the negation in the front. <clears throat> All right. So the only time this statement would be true is if is if P is true and Q is false. All right, so that's how that works. Uh, why don't I give you guys a little bit of time to see if you guys can do number six um, with just like with each other. So I'm gonna put maybe just two breakout rooms and then you see if you guys can do number six, fill out the entire table. So break the letters. Yeah, I think it's, it's better. Um, yeah, I think we need to fill in the, like kind of write in the letters here and here and then do the or and then write what is equal to. That might be helpful. So let's just yeah. go through this. So we'll do true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. That's always the same, by the way. This, this will never change. That will always stay the same. Okay. So now we can do this. So maybe it's helpful if you if you just do uh, one thing at a time. So let's yeah. do just, just yeah. this. So what would be the not not p for the first one? False. False. Yeah, you just change that to the opposite. So false, and then for the next one, it would be true. Or you have to. Oh. Make it. No, it'd be um, false. False, and then for the next one, true. That would be true, and then for the next one, true again, right? You just do the opposite. And then you just bring that down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. And then the cues, notice you don't negate it. You just keep it the same. The same, so okay. That's just gonna be T, F, T, F. And then we can do the equal part. So remember for and, these are ands. Do you guys uh, remember, when is it true? Only when it's- When it's and, when they're both the same. When they're both, they both have to be true, right? Yeah. So this would be the only one that's true because it's true and true. Yeah. Yes. And then the rest of them are going to be false. Or false. False, false, false. Could you say it again? You said when they're, when it's and, and they're both the same. Uh, yeah, for and, um, if you go back here, um, oh yeah, so for and, the only time it's true, it's only true when when both P is true and Q is true. So they both have to be true. Are you recording, Mr. Ornelas? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's being recorded. Okay. Yeah, so for the end, it's only true if they're both T's. Otherwise, if it's T and F or F and T or F and F, it's gonna be false. So for ends, they both have to be true. So over here, since we have and and they both have to be true for this to be true. But that's false, so that therefore this is going to be false. False. This one's they're both false, so that means they're both it's going to be false. This false. one they're, they're both true, so that's true. This one, one of them is false, so that means overall it's false. False. Okay. okay. I got that far. Okay. okay. Good. All right. And now this is just the same thing as this, right? Yes. Yeah. This, yeah. So all we have to do is rewrite that here. So F, F, T, F. Basically, just copy and paste that over. And then you have to do the ors. So now it's an or. Now it's the opposite. And then P is going to be. Um, we don't. We just copy and paste this one, right? That one doesn't change. All right, so that's going to be T, T, false, false. We just took all the P values and put them here. Okay. So now we do the equals, and then this is an or. Do you guys remember when is it true for or? When either or, of, when either one of them is true. Yeah, P or Q is true when you have at least one true. You don't need both of them to be true. You only need at least one. So in this case, would this be true or false? True. true. True because at least one of them is true. And then for the next one. True. True again. And then the next one. True. True. False. And then the last one is it's false. false. Yeah, that one's false because both of them are false. So this is your final 
answer. Okay, we got. I got it now. Okay. All right. Okay. Write that down. Yeah, no problem. Write that down. So I, I just didn't know how to get to the last. Yeah. This is one of those things that you have to write out. You can't try to like figure it out in your head. And now I know how to write it. So yeah, let me get this. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Knowledge. Uh huh. On the last part, on example six, where it says, um, see you in the um, in the uh, tutoring. Oh, okay. Yeah. No problem. All right. So here we go. Determine the truth value for the each simple statement. Then determine the truth value of the compound statement. So uh, let's look at the first one. Determine true, false for each statement. Insert those values and determine the final value of true, false according to the rules from before. All right, so let's look at P. This is our P, right? So P would be the first one. 18 divided by 3 equals 9. What do you guys think? Is that true or false? It's false. False. That's false. 18 divided by 3 is 6, so that would be a false. All right, now let's look at the Q statement, which is 56 divided by 8 is 7. Would that be true or false? That's, that's true. That is true. All right. So the statement that they want us to look at is the or statement. So we'll write or. So this is going to be P or Q. P or Q. All right. So determine true, false. Okay. So now we have to find whether this statement, this statement is true or false. So we have to construct a uh, T table. So uh, I'm sorry, a uh, truth table. So true, right. and let's do it this way. It's not a rectangle. Okay, so we got um, And then there's four cases, right? Case one, case two, case three, and four. All right, so the cases are true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Um, all right. Uh, but oh, actually, we're only concerned with one of the cases. I thought you said the first, uh, the first row, the true, true, false, false, um, stays the same. Yeah, yeah, you're right. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. That stays the same. But I, I misread this. They, they only want us to determine um, with the one. division problems. The F and the T, because P is false. We said right. Yeah. P, P right. is false. And Q is true. So, so we the answer would be F. I mean, the answer would be uh, P, if you yes. will. So we, we're only concerned with this one, right? We don't really care about these. We only yeah, care so you're about merely just doing the math and then answering the question. Yeah, exactly. So it's um, false or true. So what is false or true? Is that true or false? Um, P is false and Q is true. Yeah, but the overall statement would be? Uh, true. true, because one is false and one is true. So the overall statement is true. true. It's true. Yeah, you're right. Because it's an or, we only need one true for the statement to be true. So you're right. So this is a true statement. So as strange as this is, this is a true statement, believe it or not. If someone were to say to you, 18 divided by 3 is equal to 9, or 56 divided by 8 is equal to 7, and they asked you to determine whether that was a true or false statement, you would say true. That's a true statement. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the way it kind of works. It's a little bit strange. But the word or, that means only one of them has to be true. And this one is true. So therefore, overall, the statement is true. All right. Let's look at the next one. What do you guys? Uh, so P is 
17 greater than or equal to 17. Is that true or false? That's false, but 17 is not greater than 17, it's just equal to it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, it's equal to or actually less, well, equal to, just equal to it. Yeah, so uh, greater than or, or equal to means or. So that means, yeah, this is true because it only has to be either greater or equal to. And since it's equal to, then it's true. And then the other one, what about the other one? Is that true or false? Is negative three bigger than negative two or smaller? Smaller. 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 So this is false. False. All right. So, and then so this overall, one. that will make this statement false because it's and. So they both have to be true. Yeah, you're right. So this is a true statement. This is a false statement. And because it's an and, that means they both have to be true in order for the statement to be true. But that's that's one of them is false. So we say that it is false. So this one's going to be, I should have said, this one is false. The final answer is false for the first one. And for this one, oh, I'm sorry. The final answer was true for this one, right? No, it's just, yeah. And for this one, the final answer is false because of the word and. And means they both have to be true in order for this to be true, which it's not. This one, only one of them has to be true, which it is. All right. So this statement would be false, a false statement. All right. So you really didn't need to construct a true table. Uh, uh, I just did it because I thought we had to do all four cases, but we they only wanted that specific case of when this is false and this is true. <clears throat> all right, uh, that was it. Actually, oh well, I didn't think we'd. I didn't know we were done already. All right, um, let's see. There is a little bit of time left. Um, well, why don't we take a break and then 